Okay, we got a sad one here. There's a lot of new information coming out about this every day. So if you want to uh, look it up yourself, please do. The P305 wrecked by a cyclone on May 16th. It had 261 people on board at the time. This is a rusty old barge. <laughs> uh, man, she looks bad. They were working 200 miles from Mumbai on the west coast of uh, southern India. When they got hammered by the cyclone that was way worse than forecasted. At this time, 49 people are dead, 26 still missing. That's according to the latest news article I can find. I'll put a link to that in the video description if you want to check it out. They forecasted 40 knots of wind, but they got a lot more than that, and the eye of the storm was a lot closer to the barge than they expected. The barge was instructed to head back to Mumbai and anchor in safety, like all the other barges in the area did. Five or six other barges were also working there. And they all went to Safe Harbor and anchored up outside Mumbai. They chose to stay on location. It's only 40 knots, right? It's it's a cyclone, but 40 knots is, uh, is doable. I don't know about this old rust bucket, but... Uh, most of the oil field e equipment could handle 40 knots, that's for sure. But unfortunately, they got a lot more. They didn't say, oh, much more. They just said a lot. Uh, cyclones are pretty nasty storms, especially if you get close to the eye. That's for sure. Now, this happened a few days ago on the 16th of May. And the finger pointing has started. It looks like the barge captain is actually being charged. But uh, that decision probably came from above to stay on location. Uh, this barge does not look seaworthy in my opinion. And the people who hired it, the oil company, should be looked at. Maybe all the other barges in the area look just as bad as this. But I know I'm glad I never had to work on anything like this. Uh, it would suck to be in a situation where you have no choice and you have to stay and work and live on something that looks this bad. I've stayed in some god awful places over the years, but I was never worried about it sinking when I went to sleep. This one I would have been. Uh, this is a terrible tragedy. A lot of people have lost their life. They say at least 49 dead. I don't know if that includes the 29 that are still missing. The Navy is saying unlikely to find anyone alive at this stage. It's been five days already, which I agree with. It's more of a recovery, that's for sure. Even if they had the best uh, safety equipment, life rafts, survival suits, five days at sea in a storm, yeah, they'd be pretty lucky to survive that, that's for sure. But you never know, it's, it's worth looking. Uh, getting back to the finger pointing, not going to happen but the top brass in that oil company should be looked at hiring the cheapest is not always the best uh, idea not when it comes to safety and safety in the oil field these days is number one very very sad this is